Let's move to the next one. This is an even more interesting question. Here again, it's a word problem. I didn't want to tell you whether it's a HCF problem or an LCM, pro LCM problem. Let's figure out along the way. Six different sweet varieties of count. Various numbers are given. Let's not worry about it right now. Were ordered for an occasion. They need to be packed in such a way that each box has only one variety of sweets. For example, let's say this is Rasagulla and this is Gulab Jamun, right? So if a yes, bo box contain Rasagullas, it will contain only Rasagullas. You cannot mix sweets of different varieties in a box. That's a condition given. And the number of sweets in each box is the same. If box number one had five, then box number two will also have five. Box number 105 will also have five. Every single box will have the same number of sweets. What is the minimum number of boxes required to pack it? Let's say in each box, we are going to throw in n sweets. So 32 is broken down into n sweets. And let's say we need a such boxes. So 32 is going to be equal to a times n. So there are n sweets going into the box. We need a such boxes to pack 32 sweets. It comes to 216. That box is also going to contain the same n number of sweets. But because we have a larger number of sweets here, the number of boxes that you'll require is going to be a different one. It's not going to be A, it's going to be a B. Quickly run through this. One third is six. Number of sweets in the boxes N will require C boxes. Let's go for 88 is equal to N sweets in the box will require D boxes. 184 sweets will have N sweets in a box will require E number of boxes. And for 120, we'll have N sweets in the box and will require F number of boxes. As we did in the last question, N is a multiple of 32, 32 is a multiple of n, 216 is a multiple of n, 136 is a multiple of n, 88 is a multiple of n, 184 and 120 are also multiples of n. Which means n is a factor of all of these numbers. n will divide all of these numbers. So n is a factor of all of these numbers. Now hold on for a minute. This 32 sweets, can I pack it as 4 sweets, number of sweets in a box and the number of boxes. 4 into 8 is a possibility. I can do 16 sweets in a box and have 2 boxes. I can pack 32 sweets in a box and have one box. As the number of sweets in the box increases, the number of boxes will go down. That's evident. We are looking for the minimum number of boxes, which means we need to find however many, what is the largest number of sweets that can go into each of these boxes. We realized n is a factor of all of these numbers. Now we need n to be as high a value as possible. n is a common factor to these numbers. If n takes its highest value, then n is equal to the HCF of all of these numbers, 32, 216, 136, 88, 184, and 120. We are not finding out n. n is a number of sweet, number of sweets in a box. What we are finally going to find out is a number of boxes. We'll come to that in a while. We'll first compute the number of sweets. Consolidate till this point in a printed form. All sweets need to be packed and each box has only one variety and all boxes contain the same number of sweets, which means that the number of sweets in each of the boxes is the HCF of all of these different values. Next step, let's find out the HCF. Let's start by prime factorizing these numbers. 32 prime factorizes as 2 power 5. 216 is a 6 cube. 6 is a 2 into 3. So 216 becomes 2 cube times 3 cube. Wherever something is not evident, just run through it this way. Pick this 216, divide it by 2 and run through the successive division. Where you know the answer, just go with it. 136. 136 is equal to 17 times 8. If you know your tables, it's going to be super easy for you. 88 is quite evident as 11 into 8, which is 11 times 2 cube. 184, 160 is divisible by 8. 184 should be divisible by 8, which is equal to 8 times 23, which is 2 cube times 23. Lastly, 120, certainly divisible by 8, which is 15 times 8, 15 times 2 cube. So prime factorized all these numbers. HCF is the product of the common primes. What are all the common primes? Is it 2 here, 2 here, 2, 2, 2. 2 is the only common prime among all of these numbers. 2 power 5, 2 cube, 2 cube, 2 cube, 2 cube, 2 cube. The lowest power of 2 among these numbers is a 3. So 2 cube is a HCF. 8 is a HCF. What did we say was a HCF? HCF was the number of sweets in each of the n is equal to the HCF of all of these numbers, which works out to 8. So in each box, you're going to be packing eight sweets. We need to find out the minimum number of boxes, number of boxes. You can go about it two ways. I'll do it one way in this slide and I'll do it in a slightly different fashion in the next slide. I'm going to count out the number of boxes, right? We're having eight sweets to a box. 
32 sweets of the first variety are there. So 32 gets packed into four boxes. Now I'm counting the number of boxes. Second one, 216. How many boxes? If I remove this eight from it, I'll have 27 boxes. 136 is equal to eight times 17. Eight sweets go into it. How many boxes do I require? I require 17 boxes. 88, eight sweets in a box that will leave us with 11 require, we'll require 11 boxes. 184, we will require 23 boxes and 120, we'll require 15 boxes. Add all these six numbers, we have the answer. 31 plus 17, 48 plus 11, 59 plus 23, 82 plus 15, 97 boxes is what we'll require. The minimum number of boxes required to satisfy all of this is 97. Watch out, finding the HCF is not just enough. HCF tells you the number of sweets in the box. What we have to find out is the number of boxes. There's a slightly different approach to get to this answer. We'll quickly run through it. Finding the HCF is definitely a step that we can't escape. We have prime factorized this. We have found out the HCF. HCF works out to eight. Now, all I'm going to do is, I'm going to count all of these sweets. Find out the total number. There's a total number of sweets I have. I'm packing eight sweets to a box. All that I'll have to be careful is that I just put the same type of sweets in a box. So all of these total count divided by eight is going to give me the number of boxes required. These are the number of sweets, they add up to 776. I divide 776 by eight. I have eight sweets going into a box. We'll find out what this number is. 77 by eight, that's going to leave me with a 972, 56, that's going to be a seven. Probably a quicker way to doing it is, this is 800 minus 24. 800 is 100 times eight. 24 is three times eight. So 100 minus three would have given you the same 97. So number of boxes required is equal to 97. This is a clearly a HCF question. A difficult question would have been a four mark question if such a question were tested. Before you leave, do two things. Sign up at online.maxtude.com for CBSE online coaching for class 10 maths. It takes less than five minutes in all of three steps to get started. And do one more thing. Subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash and spread the word about this channel to your friends and classmates.